A quarter of a century, a time to reflect on past and present achievements and to look forward to the future. For Phoenix Aviation, celebrating 25 amazing years is all the more satisfying because we have done it together with our partners. I cannot believe it's 25 years since Phoenix started. When we started it, it was um, my father, uh, Bill Parkinson, who is a well-known sportsman in in Kenya, and uh, Sati, Sati Singh, who is the engineer, and his father. So we we started this company, and it was it was all about passion. Started as a small maintenance and safari operator. Uh, it has evolved over the years into a uh, the biggest VIP charter company in Kenya and in the region, and also the biggest air ambulance company north of South Africa. We have a fleet of about nine aircraft, uh, increasing it this year to about 12. So it's something that we have been building for the VIP side and for the air charter side. Today, Phoenix Aviation offers worldwide air ambulance services, executive charter flights, aircraft management services, and repair and maintenance of aircraft. At Phoenix Aviation, we are here when you need us 24 hours, 7 days a week. We are proud to serve our customers all over the world. We are always available to offer competent and reliable services. Our customer is always number one. We focus on customer satisfaction, we focus on customer excellence, we give the best service. We deal with different clients from different time zones. So we have to make sure these clients are catered for. We have to respond to their inquiries in a timely manner. And all our team are actually employees of the company, which makes it actually easy to control and to make sure we offer the client the best possible solutions. When it comes to air ambulance, Phoenix Aviation is a name you commonly hear. We offer seamless, global, bedside-to-bedside -bedside service to critically ill patients in need of medical air transport. We got into medical evacuation not by plan, but because there was a need. In the 1994, 95, there was a lot of conflict in the region. And Phoenix Aviation was placed and was requested to offer a service no one else was offering. Most of these places we had never been to before. However, we evolved and worked with the client and understood what their needs are, and we started doing this service. We had high-end charters because these little airplanes here, when they started, these were like the top of the range airplanes. Um, but obviously, we had to keep up with the market. And so we, we, we then ventured into a Citation XL, which is a medium-sized uh, jet, and then finally onto the Sovereign, which is a, a long-ranged, larger cabin jet, um, which is capable of, you know, flying around the globe. The bed-to-bed -bed transfer basically means you have a patient who needs care outside where they are. So your, your role in this, in this whole transfer is to ensure that you're continuing the same level of care, even better, if you can manage it, than where they came from, and get them to the next facility, which is usually of a higher level. So another bigger ICU or a bigger hospital, and you give them to the next medical team. When you or your loved one is in need of air ambulance medical transport, we understand the burden you are experiencing. Phoenix Aviation will diligently plan and execute all aspects of the medical air transport process, saving you time and relieving the worry and stress that patients and their families often encounter. We will be with you every step of the way, and your loved one will be cared for by the absolute best in the industry. We have the medical department, and uh, that's basically to respond to medical emergencies. 
We have the aviation or flight side of, of operations. So the flight operations usually are the ones that the client will call. So they are the first contact usually with patients and clients, and then they will talk to us. Then we have the maintenance side. These are the guys that tell you, yes, my aircraft is good to go. So off you go and they hand over the aircraft to the pilots who are the flight crew. So on any given day, we have a lot of people with a lot of experience from different departments supporting what we do. Time management in our profession is very critical. When one person delays, the whole system is delayed, right from the beginning to the end. So time management is very critical. Before any flight is dispatched, our team manages the safety and quality of the mission through external and internal assessment standards and processes. The first question before any mission is accepted, is it safe? Then the next question goes to, are the crew safe to fly? Is the aircraft fit to fly? Is it safe to fly? So safety will come up in every conversation that you will have in aviation, and in particular with Phoenix Aviation. It's one of our stronger principles. We have our daily equipment checks, where one of our flight nurses checks the equipment daily to make sure that they're in good working condition, they are fully charged, and uh, the first on call nurse does the preparation for the equipment for any flight at any time. We have invested in security. You need to have information before you engage the crew. So this information comes in, in handy as part of the plan. This enables us to fly to such a countries which are risk, high risk to other people. You must give a brief to the crew or the captain and all the team members what they expect into where we are going. I oversee the day-to-day -day operations of the company, our aircraft dispatching, making sure we are keeping up with the legislation, the laws, and uh, most importantly, safety is making sure that our clients, our crew, pilots, medical crew, and everybody else who's involved in the company is safe at all times. The experience, especially for medical evacuation, is quite hectic because most of the flights we do, the international flights and paperwork has to be there. Whether our client's destination is paved or unpaved, Phoenix Aviation's fleet has the capability to land and take off in tighter, further locations globally, all while keeping our patients stabilized and comfortable. Over the years, we've done evacuations to Tokyo, we've done evacuations to North America, to Germany, to India. The farthest we've gone is Australia. We are not limited geographically. We can fly to anywhere there's an, air, there's an airport to land. The King Airs are more suitable for unpaved surfaces, uh, grass strips. So when we do go to these um, uh, smaller airstrips, you'll get is the King Air 200 or the King Air 350 that will be employed for that. The next step from there is the Citation Bravo, which is our light jet from the Bravo, the Citation Exam, which is a mid-sized jet. Um, again, predominantly for international travel. We have been to Afghanistan. If there's a war somewhere, we've probably been there and the range and our fleet of aircraft is particularly designed for those particular missions, be it near or far. Each critical air ambulance charter flight is fully equipped with state-of-the-art mobile ICU medical equipment along with highly qualified and specialized medical personnel to care for the patient's medical needs. The aircrafts have a life support system that has electricity, oxygen supplies, something that we call vacuum uh, suction. Uh, so it is able to support the machines that will keep the patient breathing. So you attach your ICU machines and you're able to control the rate, control the breathing, control how fast the heart can beat, slow down the blood pressure, slow down the heart rate, depending on the patient's needs. During a medical evacuation flight, we combine the latest technology and facilities with the most advanced techniques and treatments, and our physicians and other medical professionals are widely recognized for their caring and compassion. Most times you'll get very stable patients. A few times you will get really life-threatening issues with patients. You have to reassure the patient if they can actually understand what you're saying. They have to understand that you want the best for them. They have to understand that you will do the best for them no matter what. 
you have to kind of bond with the patient, get a relationship that is almost like, for the time that I am with you, I am your family. If we manage to get a client at the time that they expect us to get them, and in the way that they expect us to get them with all the professionalism of critical care, and we take this client safely to hospital, that's a successful day for us. Committed to breaking boundaries, we were at the forefront of supporting people who needed to be evacuated or repatriated throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. We have been successfully learning because what you started with yesterday is not what the same situation today. It could be the same patient, yeah? You got out from a different place, now they are going back home, yeah, for treatment. What we did on the first run was not what we did on the second uh, transfer. So you have to be very willing to learn. We've invested in the equipment and the training to make sure we carry out these missions safely and efficiently. When your best or only option for moving a patient is in a fully medically equipped and staffed aircraft, look to Phoenix Aviation for exemplary quality, safety, service and value. About 15 years ago, nobody had flown into Somalia in Mogadishu for about 10 years. So we were the first, first aeroplane to land in Mogadishu. We've managed to go safely doing medivacs and some charters now. And that's really where we've built our reputation, going the more, I would call it the more challenging areas, because that's where our expertise is now.